this body sitting here. It's like a rental property. You pay your monthly installments, but they don't go toward ownership, even though you've been paying in terms of the food that you put in the body, the medicines you use to take care of it, all the ways you deal with its various pains. You still can't take it with you. You can't lay claim to it forever. And the same with the thoughts going through your mind. You work hard to think good thoughts. And something that's really nice and satisfactory. You can't say, well, just stay there now for all the time. The thoughts come and they go. And it's very easy to forget. So what do you do? You use these things for a higher purpose. At the very least, you want to get some good karma out of them. Use them to be generous. Use them to be virtuous. Use them to meditate so that you will have something to take with you. And the Buddha makes a comparison. If it's the things you take with you, in other words, the results of your actions, if they were bad, it's like being weighed down by a cart. You have to drag the cart behind you. But if they're good, it's like a shadow that follows you. You don't have to do anything. The shadow follows you on its own. It doesn't weigh you down. So try to get some good use out of this. Use the body to meditate. Use the mind to meditate. Develop good qualities. These habits that you develop in the mind, those go with you. The individual thoughts may go, but your tendency to think in certain ways and to act in certain ways, that's a lot more constant. But even that is not totally reliable. You want to develop that even further. You get to something inside that doesn't change at all. Unfortunately, when you're there, you don't have to lay claim to it. It's just there, and it's satisfactory, and it's the end of all desire. Not because you tell yourself not to desire anything, but because it's totally satisfying. Now you can use this body and you can use the thoughts of the mind to get there. The Buddha compares this to a series of chariots, relay chariots. You go from one chariot to the next to the next, finally you get to the, the goal. Now you don't have to stay in the chariots anymore. Get out of the chariots and there you are where you wanted to be. In the meantime, though, you're in chariots, you're moving. And as I say, they're, they're rented. So you take care of them enough to keep them going and to get some good use out of them. But knowing that at some point you're going to have to get them up. And when you've got something good to take, replace them, then you've made a good trade. 